What would you tell these young people? Because they come into the league from one socioeconomic reality, never having seen that much money, and then all of a sudden, overnight, they have it. What, what would you tell them for all the things that you've seen about it being successful it, in life? Actually, it's a lot of money for any socioeconomic group, and so it wouldn't be fair to sort of think about sort of the image of a poor black kid from the ghetto. It doesn't just, that isn't the prototype. The prototype is pretty sophisticated kids who have been guiding their way to get here. And what we would say to them is, choose your advisors wisely, and your union should be much more involved than it is, in make, and your agent making sure that you are protected for life given the sums of money that are likely to flow through your bank account. Uh, and that's an important issue and I would say an uh, important failure because we've tried certain things in the past that uh, didn't quite get sustained because of pressure from the union and the agents to, and what I mean is we actually had put away large sums of money for players. But in a subsequent collective bargaining agreement, it was a demand by the union at the behest of the agents to get rid of it, and we did. Now we're back in the last collective bargaining agreement. There's an annuity that we in the union have agreed to that will be put away for every player. Small amounts as a start, but uh, hopefully it'll grow. Uh, but the most important thing is for the combination of the league, the agents, the union, and the players who have to take some responsibility to make sure that you don't see uh, something like the uh, ESPN feature I recently re-reviewed entitled Broke. Um, that must know. be tough to see that when it you're is the tough. It is tough. And, uh, uh, and maybe it was my personal reaction. It was unfair. I, uh, because so many of them were African Americans, I, I viewed the entire story as mildly racist. But I think I may have just my own sens sensitivity or sensibility uh, based upon ridiculous repetition of unprovable facts, you know. Uh, someone supposes in Sports Illustrated that so many percentages, and so the director of the movie or the producer says, 2009 Sports Illustrated, and they give you the fact. It's a pretty sloppy journalism, but but it doesn't change the issue that it is an important issue and there are a lot of players who never take advantage of their opportunity to assure the rest of their lives being comfortable. I mean, they sitting there listening to the players in front of the camera, well, I had, you know, I, actually it was, I think it was Evander Holyfield, he was going to build a 52,000 square foot house with two bowling alleys. I was like, oh my God. Why would you do that? Uh, and 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 the players were buying football NFL players buying several cars and not several is a small number houses uh, being guided into terrible investments. Uh, this is a, a sort of a it cuts across sports and we just have to do a better job of it. It's a it's a real failing of the sports leagues. It makes you want to rewind the tape and go back to you the do. NBA rookie symposium where you try. We do that, but in the absence of saying, we're not going to let you spend your money. Your agents are not going to let you spend their money. We're going to oversee the investment, and your union is going to make sure that that happens, rather than make as one of their demands that the money that was put aside for you in the future just be taken away, and you can do whatever you want to do, and you can decide together with your agent who shall invest your money. We've come a long way. The agents now are a sophisticated group that really work hard to help their players, and the union is focusing on this now, and we are focusing on it now, but it hasn't completely come together, and we need to do a better job collectively. We offered ESPN an opportunity to respond to Commissioner Stern's view of the documentary as mildly racist and sloppy journalism, and an ESPN spokesman responded with this statement. Quote, the Sports Illustrated facts about athletes under financial stress referenced at the top of Broke were a jumping off point for a discussion that we believe was both productive and balanced about how and why so many athletes find themselves in financial difficulties.
The journalism done by director Billy Corbin was thorough and we stand by it. The response to the film, particularly from athletes themselves, was overwhelmingly positive. Do you have any interest in writing a book? No. Uh, I've, uh, the only cheer I got when I told the owners I'd be stepping down was when I said, don't worry, I'm not writing a book. <laughs> and I won't write a book. I, it's just not me. Well, I don't think uh, we're going to have to do anything other than continue the rules that we currently have. Abusive fans, I guess if that's what you're concerned about, are going to be escorted from the building.